What's up guys in here? So, today we're doing Ramsey and 10. Unfortunately, Rihanna is out. She slipped on a bad appeal and we got her back. So, <laughs> today we're gonna be making Cajun Spice Monkfish with chorizo and polenta. I've never done this, but luckily, I'm gonna have the assistance of Mr. Third place. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Brutal, dude. Brutal. But Sorry, second place couldn't be here today. She had to hey, work. First, hey, first place, uh, second place loser. There we go. Okay. There we go. So, I'm using two pans, right? One for polenta, right? Hey, come and on. He, he, he shouldn't have to fish. keep looking at oh. the book. I know you Damn. read it to him. Sorry. All right, That's guys. All right. So, today we're cooking Cajun spiced monkfish with chorizo and polenta. So, this is my take on shrimp and grits, in quotation marks. A classic comfort food from the southern states of America using monkfish instead of prawns and chorizo instead of the more traditional bacon. I love modern day Cajun cooking, which is full of gusty, gusty, smoky flavors and plenty of heat. I think these work especially well with the robust fish and creamy polenta. That is not my quote. That is All right, sir. You ready? Let's really fire up these grills. I think it will be with these stove tops, right? Yes, sir. All righty. Uh, oh, Google. Hold on. Okay, play a quote that is Gordon Ramsay's from YouTube on Living Room TV. Wow. <laughs> what the f is going on? Well, that worked up there. It's the All perfect right, like, elevation or something. All right, sir, so in your uh, in your pot, you're going to start by putting half the butter in. Okay. Of that steak. Try again in a few seconds. Um, and then you're gonna get that that butter to kind of like brown, brown butterish. Half right. that butter, half that butter. Yeah, half that. Half, um, it. half that whole stick. Hey, half that whole stick. Understood. And then once it's uh, brown, then you're gonna add in your polenta and yep. stir it just to. Cook. <laughs> it's supposed to be half. You said add the whole stick. Half right? the whole stick. Okay. <laughs> add half of the full stick. Got it. There you go. Um, okay, again, once the brown, butter has turned brown, then you're going to add in your polenta and stir to okay. coat. Oh, wait, wait. Let the butter... Yeah, just go it. down. Just go now. It's already in. It's already Bro. in. You got to let the butter brown. I don't know this stuff. Either. That's why we're teaching you. In the most stressful way possible. <laughs> I know. All of, it. All of it. All of it is. Tell me that, dude. You're in my mind. Okay. okay. So, all right. show me what I'm looking for when you make the butter nut brown. So, when you're looking for brown butter, it, it, it's essentially it almost starts to look burnt in a way. So what you're doing is you're browning the uh, milk solids inside it. So it's gonna taste very nutty, very, uh, I mean, I love brown butter, regular than regular butter, Be better than regular butter, so it takes like three minutes. So we'll wait, we can still achieve that. But if you were to keep stirring that. Proceed. Yep. Keep mixing it around. Uh, we'll wait till that butter, you'll start to smell it. It's gonna be really nutty. What's next steps? Uh, you're gonna go ahead and then Slowly pour in the stock while stirring with the whisk. The way for that, can you skip to... Uh, Swap the whisk for a wooden spoon, uh, get blah, add the remaining butter and grate in the Parmesan cheese, season with salt and pepper, like it's, cool. it's all gone with See that. how you smell? It's skip there. So what you can do is you can take those three, the chipotle, the parsley, or the paprika, yeah, all those, mix those all together. In a bowl, yep. And, and, the, and the chipotle. Fish. Is it chipotle too? The whisk is for the, over here, use a spatula in the drawer in front of you. <laughs> Mix in the chipotle. We're rogue, dude. All of it. All of it's measured out. Oh god. And then that's, oh, god. What you, that's what you're gonna use to coat the fish. And there should be a brush right there. Here's me. I'm blind. I'm blind. <laughs> I'm legally blind. This is off of a fucking You can start uh, adding in the stock yeah, over there. Yeah. Slowly, though. Slowly. And stir while you're doing whisk it. Whisk while you're doing it. With the whisk. May I ask why? Whisk. Whisk. So whisk, whisk, whisk. 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 He took your whisk. Sorry, chef. Alright, what's up with this fishy boy? Uh, the fish, you're going to put in the nonstick frying pan over medium high heat. Put the pan with oil. Once the oil's hot, add the fish, allow it to cook for three minutes, flip the fish, and then add the chorizo with thyme spritz. Keep going with all of it. Yeah. For the polenta, yep. once you're done adding in all your stock, you can start adding a... You can 
flip out from your wrist now. Okay. Here, and then go to your wooden spoon. All right. That's a food. That's an actual spoon that my mother feeds me with. Gotcha, dude. And it's medium. Oh, it's got your initial right here, dude. You're both skilled. Badass. Yeah. What elevation do I add the uh, Parmesan cheese? So uh, we're gonna keep cooking it. Oh. You're good. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep cooking it. You're All good. Right. And then uh, you're gonna want to add the remaining butter. Okay. And then you're gonna grate in your cheese after you get that butter melted. Understood. You're just gonna wanna keep holding your flint down. <laughs> God! I'm <laughs> right. <laughs> Nobody breathe. Three minutes, please. Pepper spray, dude. It's really cool doing this with you guys. Straight yeah, up. absolutely. It's really, really cool. What's up with the chorizo? Do I cut the, when do I cut the chorizo? Slice the chorizo into quarter-inch rings, the whole log. Mm. Okay, Hunter, look up. You can start to add your parm. Keep going. You can start to add your parm and your seasoning. It's gonna be add ah! some pepper. Am I doing this right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you flip your fish? You're supposed to flip your fish first, but mm. you know, whatever. Sorry. And then your time strike, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> and then cook for two minutes, and yep. then you're gonna squeeze over lemon juice. Lemon juice here? After oh. you cook for two minutes, Chef. Whole lemon? And ask why you roll the lemon? Squeeze over the lemon juice. Uh, it expresses so the juices out of it. Juice half of it. Juicy. Thank you. Uh, what am I looking for for the chorizo? You just want a nice sear on it? Yumminess. Get some color. A liar. Mm -hmm. Sweet. You could probably start to slowly lower the heat a little bit. Not completely, but lower the heat on it. And then just keep slowly holding. Understood. Thank you. Uh, it's the world's biggest spatula. This one looks pretty. Uh, did you put your lemon juice up? Are you supposed to do it? No, he did not. God damn it. <laughs> lemon juice, chef. So I need to go ahead and take it over the side. What am I looking for? Kind of like, one kind of looks like oatmeal. Yeah. Like porridge So I typically tend to see just by the way that you're going to pull your egg. Or even from the back of it. See how it falls off. Yeah. But you're pretty much. You're going to say that in a minute. What do I need this butter for? Deliciousness? Throw it in. Throw eat it, it in there. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can eat it. Or you can put it in the pan. And then once the polenta is done and that's done, then you're just going to start plating. That's it? You're going to divide the polenta between, or go ahead and put your polenta on the plate. Yeah, I think we'll do like half place of it and the one fish. of the fish. Yeah, place the fish in the triazo on top of the polenta. You say chorizo so white? Chorizo. 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 I say like that too, and I'm at work. I'm like, oh yeah, chorizo. I like a good chorizo chimichanga. <laughs> oh, so yeah, make sure you Jalapenos. save the juices from that pan because that's what the butter was for. That's what and making the sauce. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of just doing that. Now. Yeah. So there you go. Where's the sauce? Well, even like change change. Hey Google, too. how much time do we have left? I don't know, but I found these results on search. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Thank you, Google. Thank you so much. We can turn the timer on the camera for the phone. Eh, we'll find out. Okay, yeah. Google, how much time is left? Oh, cool.
There you go. 40. Pe 40. Uh, the pepperoni is done. Is it chef? Is that what it tastes like? Yeah. You good? Mm, it does. Here's your plate, sir. Yes, sir. Here you go. Please show me how to plate Yes. Perfect consistency. Good job, dude. Mm -hmm. I had one job and I did it right. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, in a recipe like that, really doing that is one whole job. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, I don't know. We can't cool. see. It's not facing the oh. camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll got. I got that later. That's really cool. Oh. It is fine. fine. We're feeding a army. <laughs> a army? What's a army? Army is an army, but of arms. harmful people. Or very harmful. Only people. five people, bro. And of course, we're gonna garnish with the thyme because that's our green. Yep. Unless you want some micro arugula. <laughs> when you're putting yeah. like this, what is it just to avoid doing? Um, I always say if it doesn't, be if it's on the edge of the plate, that means it doesn't belong on the plate. So I try to keep everything like inside of the plate. You don't want to overdo it. Understood. And then, uh, yeah, dude, bone apple tea. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> that looks really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Perfect! Ten minutes! Yay! Okay, Google, stop. All right, guys. So here it is. That is your little old man. So it tastes good. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I got monk, monkfish juice in my hand. Be better. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of slackers. Yeah, you're not gonna cut through a tree. See what you did there, bro? You stashed the little private stash over here. Smart man. Look at those knife cuts! What the heck? I didn't cut those. I cut the butter. Can you guys tell? Hi, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. <clears throat> Well, we'll watch the playback. Yeah, whoever did it is a f***ing ass dude. They should die. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. The longer you're here, the worse you're getting. <laughs> mm. Oh, That's so good. What's that in that motion? That might be my favorite one that we made. Yeah, I think so, too. Of the least. <clears throat> oh, yeah, dude. This one's awesome. You really can't go wrong with flint either. Mm. No, I know. I feel like I'm just so. It's good. It's good. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? English bird. Yep. Mm. It's a king of bazooki, bro. Give me this. Uh huh. <laughs> Alright, so one out of ten. Uh six. I'd go seven on this. Nine? Mm-hmm. Nine? I go solid nine. It's good. Uh if the cool. chorizo was cut different, I'd say seven. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not uh doesn't fit on the size of a fork or a spoon. So I'm gonna go uh, six. <laughs> Alright, Needy, let everyone know what we're doing next. So what do I say, this is uh, 63? Mm-hmm. It has to be 63. Okay. Next. Up next, guys, you don't want to miss this episode 63. And it's going to be fish and chips. Come on. Ice cold beer. In 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, right? So, yeah. That's actually really fucking fun. Although, according to Gordon, 10 minutes and 39 seconds, because his daughters were heckling him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we all said it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, man. Only a 
Angel of Everything with that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, goodbye! <laughs> Thought I was the one that had a hard time saying bye. <laughs> Adios. <laughs>